Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Ruth chapter 4 verse 12, Job chapter 6 verse 2, and James chapter 5 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this word. Thank you for showing us your truth and helping us to live lives that are pleasing in your sight. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Ruth chapter four, verse 12. Um, I'm sorry, Ruth chapter four, verse 12. And may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah because of the offspring that the Lord will give you by this young woman. All right, and this is a, a blessing being spoken by the witness, but this is conflated a little bit different today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read Job chapter six, verse two. Oh, that my vexation were weighed and my calamity laid in the balances. All right. And so the thing that the Lord was showing me was about balance, right? Um, as it relates to these three scriptures. Um, if you look at the first part of um Ruth's life before this this um before this great calamity we don't really know much about her marriage before but what we do know is that there was famine in the land um during the time when they had lost um her husband and her father-in-law and so um when they died um that was a great you know weight on the women um to have to survive alone having no one to fend for them um no no source of income um it was easy for Naomi to tell them to to go right to go away from her um and and it was a heavy weight on that portion of their life and if you look at um that that first part of um um Ruth in her life how how they they were you know already in sorrow and that that was a heavy weight in itself but having the famine also on top of that was probably very like you know very very hard to deal with and so um but here you have Ruth being blessed um, by the witnesses at this exchange. And, and this balance has tilted to the completely opposite direction in her life, right? Um, where once she was heavy with the weight of grief and, and, and um, no, even no food, right? Uh, starvation, um, and not having hope, not knowing what to do next. Now she was being completely blessed by people that were not even her own, that are a very, you know, a stringent people as far as foreigners are concerned. Um, she is uniting with someone who is willing to cover her and take care of her, um, to, to take her land and bless her land um to cause all of the weight of of all the work and the stress and the strain that she's been under to be lifted help her take care of her mother-in-law and also bless her with children right i mean this is a a very um drastic tilt in the other direction as far as the weight that she was under all right and so the same thing kind of with Job, but his is is more heavy at the center, right? It says, oh, that my vexation will weighed and all my calamity laid in the balances. So when you're talking about weight and balances, you'll you'll have a weight on one side and then the the like so say, um, um, if you had, you know, rice and you put it in a weight. Um, well, you have to have something to counter it to let you know what it is that, it, how much it is that you're weighing, right? When you're talking about a weight balance. And so they would have these little weights and they knew exactly how much each one of those things weighed. And so as they weighed um, the rice out or whatever, they would know how much to charge because, you know, it would 
way out against the balances. And so it says, oh, that my vexation were weighed and my calamity laid in the balances. So his vexation, his, his irritation, his anger, his, his, um, vexing of his spirit right his complaining his his all of those things those feelings were weighed and laid in the balance of his actual calamity like what had happened to him the loss of all his children um his wealth his his I mean he had sores all over his body his body was being diseased right and so he's complaining to his friends and, 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 you know, they're, they're talking about him and he's, and he's saying, well, my complaints, I, I know I have complaints, but if they were weighed against the actual things that happened to me, you know, I wish someone would see that. Right. And so God sees that, right. God knows um, whether or not your complaints are justified against what it is that you're going through. Right. I mean, um, he knows if you're complaining too much. He knows if you are grumbling and complaining against people or, you know, or whether or not you are just actually suffering in what it is that you're going through. Right. He doesn't want us to live in complaints and grumbling. He wants us to live, you know, trusting in him, even when the stress and the strain and the trial is is on. Right. He is our peace. And so God sees that, right? So just like with um, Ruth, you know, her her front was heavy with grief, but her end was 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 light and beautiful and weighed down with blessing. Um, and so Job, you know, his front was heavy with blessing, but this middle part was was really heavy in vexation and complaining and grief and and crying which was balanced out by all of the the negative that was going on with him and God saw it all right and so um of course later in in Job's life he would get back that balance right everything will be weighed back against um what had happened to him and he would be blessed even the more all right and so the third verse that the Lord gave me was James chapter 5 verse 3 your gold and your silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure in the last days. And so we're faced with a choice, right? To, to be heavy laden and burdened down with things of this world that cause our flesh to be satisfied here and feel blessed and happy right and and you got the new car you got the new house the things that that make you smile at least for 10 minutes right and 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 receiving that satisfaction now or waiting until the later right waiting until the other side waiting until the other the city to come right for that balance to come because remember if, if you're laying it up here and you're refusing to deal with that right some people may still make it in they may still you know um believe on christ and and still you know get go through the tribulation make their garments clean but you're making your heavenly experience light right because like if you if you have weighed and laden yourself down with riches here you're not going to have a bunch of riches waiting on you right because you put your investment in this world and so there's no investment in the kingdom and at the same time, if you put a little investment in the kingdom and you have a little investment in the world, you're it, it, that's how it's going to be, right? You you you've laid up some treasure, right? And and you've laid up some treasure. So you might have some treasure, but you you're not going to have what it is that God wants for you to have. Right. So God is letting us know your gold and your silver have corroded. Don't trust in the things of this world, the elements of this world. Right. The gold and the silver that are of this world, the Gucci, the Versace. I, I can't name very many of them, but, you know, all of the things that this world finds valuable. 
don't invest in those things turn away from those things seek seek after after um humbleness right seek after blessing others with with stuff right rather than consuming it yourself right make sure that other people are taken care of rather than um feeding your flesh and your passions here in this world we live for the city to come it says your gold and your silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you wow that corrosion though the corrosion of this world is what will speak against the the treasures and the beauty and the the things that god has laid up for the next and remember the the next world is much longer you guys it's, it, in comparison it's it, we live in a, a little blip right in comparison to how long we're going to be in eternity right we don't it's not even considered a blip right it's 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 too small and infinitesimal so when you talk about balance the balance is over on that side right so if you want to be balanced um, in that side, if you want to have great riches on that side, if you don't want corrosion to come to the things that that are weighed on the bema seat, right? Judgment. If if you got a bunch of Gucci purchases on the on that judgment, right? If you got a bunch of junk that is laid up from this world on that judgment, it will burn up. It will corrode. It will not stand. It says your gold and your silver have corroded, and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire wow so when you're wearing something that ain't real what does it do it eats your flesh like fire it turns your arm green it makes you itch it's very bad right and so it says you have laid up treasure in the last days even when you take that bracelet or that ring off that is not real you can still feel the evidence of it you could still feel where it was and how it was right you don't want a thin garment in heaven you don't want a a no you know I don't even want to begin to speak on the things that could happen I'm just going to say that we pray in the name of Jesus today Lord God deliverance Jesus, show us the way in our own things, our own items, Lord God, things that are laid up as evidence against us, Lord God. Let there be none of it in our house, Lord Jesus. Help us to deal with each and every last drop, Lord. Forgive us for all of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, creating us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us, Lord Jesus. Lord, show us one by one everything that you don't want in our house, in our collection. Lord God, let us not have a bunch of collections of anything, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let us be balanced. Let us be blessed on the latter end when we come into that great city. Let us have riches beyond riches beyond riches, Lord God, that will last for all eternity. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. Also, um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you could stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And then also, um, don't forget to go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. 
All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.